Mr. Spicecomb. Campbell Newman's government was only sworn in 24 hours ago and he's already using 250 police, heavily armed police, to assert a political agenda. People of Queensland should be very, very worried about this. I look across at the police opposite and I see pistols. I see stasis weapons, what they call them? Tasers. 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 What, what, why, do they, why do I need these weapons? The dogs! Yeah, well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> emotions, emotions. But, uh, you know, we as taxpayers of Queensland, we pay these police to go out and, <laughs> and stop banks being robbed. We pay these police to protect us. So, like I said, Musgrave Park must be the safest place in Queensland right now. But I don't think we uh, we want to thank the, the police of Queensland for this. But really, like I said, Campbell Newman has sworn in yesterday. There are 89 new members of the Queensland Parliament. There's not one single Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander person in that Parliament. Yay! We were there yesterday. We were there yesterday at Parliament House because we've been given notice that Campbell Newman is going to expand the uranium mining industry in Queensland. Shame. That concerns Aboriginal people because that uranium poison is on Aboriginal land. This is what this tent, this tent protest across the road here, this is why it's, here, it's been here for two months and it will be here for another two months, two years, 20 years to assert the rights of Aboriginal people, to assert the rights of Aboriginal people to manage our country. Unless Aboriginal people start managing our country again, the land will be destroyed. We have sickness country right across this land. Aboriginal people need to be given the rights to manage country. And we need to start that by giving Aboriginal people the right to manage Musgrave Park. Yes. 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 That is the theme of the Aboriginal tent embassy, yes. Aboriginal sovereignty. Always was. Always will be. Always will be. Aboriginal land. Always was. 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 Always will be. Any more speakers, please? Anyone else? What about the media? Yeah, Kago. Yes. Yeah. I've locked up. Kago's got set the locked up. And if you, Jason Harrison, his father, Billy Harrison. Yeah, brother, I'll do that. His father, Billy Harrison, was there with the 10th Embassy in Canberra, January 1972. Second generation now. Second generation we've had Aboriginal men, Aboriginal women stand up against mass numbers of police to defend and assert our rights as Aboriginal people, to defend and assert our rights to Aboriginal sovereignty. Now this young fellow has been arrested and charged under quality of law and taken away to the watch house. That is wrong. And we say again to Campbell Newman, we say again to Graham Quirk, shame, shame, shame. The struggle won't end here. The struggle will continue. If anything, this is going to ignite, ignite the Aboriginal political struggle, not only here in Brisbane, Queensland, but right across the country, one time. Thank you. Good time. Both my brothers and sisters, you are hearing yourself around that fire, I wish I was with you. It's so safe there where you are. people from even walking down here. It's a tragedy that information is blocked off in that way and people are told they've got to stand on the other side of the street while we're still supporting you even though we've been told we've got to stand on the other side of the street. We're as strong as you are in there. We want you to know 
that we respect and support the sovereign rights of the individual, of the Aboriginal and every individual in there. We want, I want you to know that I was appalled to hear that a, a worker that came down from his job today to support you all nearly got arrested from or just to try and get down this street, had to find another way through and he did and good on him. I don't like feeling scared of the police, I think it's ridiculous. But I think it's great to hear Sam say that this is the safest place in there now. Because that, that's the bit of humour that I need. Because there's, uh, there's something wrong when people that just want to live on their land need support and the people that come and support the people that need their rights respected all have to feel threatened and surrounded by law and the indigenous people that I heard speak last night beautiful people thank you for sharing your words on sovereignty and I think we all need to stay, stay strong whether we're on the outside or the inside of the fence we need to stay strong and believe that we are a cause that matters and, and the indigenous people of this country no, 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 are a cause that matters. No, 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 no. We are all a cause that matters. Our earth that is suffering by not being managed by individual people. Look at that tent stand, Aboriginal people are... Yeah, so you come down. Where, where are you? I'm appalled that you raised my own people. Ah, right. No, we have to bargain. I'm appalled that your indigenous rights are not being respected. Yeah, no, you're right. You're being surrounded by police. Okay, we got your support anyway. And I, oh, I think we're going to see that Sam doesn't support you as best we can out here. We take the messages forward. But just the fact that I'm not no, even going to pass it down this street. Don't so that no, worry, Barbara. Don't 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 worry, Barbara. Yeah, uh, we're right in the middle of a uh, uh, very big police action here now. And, uh, uh, we, but, you know, like, you can get down do. here or get other people to come down. And it's good, eh? Hey? Good on you. Well you well, good. Thanks, Barbara. You. And anyone else, you get other people to come down too, eh? Hey? Good on you. Bye-bye. Encourage the people inside the um, not to lose your picture of the focus with by us over here. Keep strong. Don't lose the focus and don't let the police come in and remove you. Stay strong. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, wait. I, I, I like to send my love and solidarity to people across the street. And thank everybody here too. I'm not the world's greatest singer. Yeah. Um, this is an important disclaimer, but um, I brought a song. Yeah, but uh, it's a but song I, I think everybody knows. I, I might read it, and maybe we could gain some momentum. Who is Helen Abraham? Who is he? Why don't you get up now? Gather around people, I'll tell you a story. An eight year long story of power and pride. Read it, Lord, thank you, and thank you, and thank you, sorry. We're all the good friends.
I'll double your wages. Seven quid a week you'll have in your hand. Vincent said, uh-uh, we're not talking about wages. We're sitting right here till we get our land. Betsy ran more than Betsy man thundered. You don't stand a chance of cinder and snow. Vincent said, if we fall, others are rising. Vincent Langari boarded an airplane, landed in Sydney, the city of life. And daily he went round softly, speaking his story to all kinds of men from all walks of life. And Vincent sat down with big politicians. This affair, they told him, is a matter of state. Let us sort it out. Your people are hungry. And Vincent said, no thanks. We know how to wait. From then Gary returned in an airplane back to his country once more to sit down. And he told his people that the stars keep on turning. We have friends in the south and the cities and towns. Eight years long went by, eight long, long years of waiting, till one day a tall stranger appeared in the land. And he came with the lawyers, and he came with great ceremony, and threw Vincent's fingers toward a handful of sand.
Hello, Coco, Dan. I want to. I want to get you on the PA system. I want you to talk from the inside if that's possible. I'll put you, I'll put you on speakerphone and you can, we'll try to talk through the, through the phone now. Um, I'm just getting it lined up. Okay, we're going to try to get someone from the inside. Uh, Coco Wilton has been involved in this struggle for a long time and he's on the inside there, inside the police perimeter. We're going to try to get Coco to talk to the people here now. Okay, okay. Yep. Not a loudspeaker, eh? No, loudspeaker setting on your phone. Yeah, is there a loudspeaker setting? No, have, have you got a... I, I have got a loudspeaker setting, but I just... You know, That's good. Right, hang on, keep talking. Yep, keep talking, my brother. Okay, we can hear this end, Coco. Yep. Is it coming? It's 
Bukhari doesn't get their way, then they adopt their guns, they put guns on their hips, and they think that's the only solution to a problem that needs to be in the that needs to be addressed. Otherwise it's going to be an inherent problem that's going to bother our children, our great killed children, and they don't deserve that. They don't deserve that. No one deserves that. If these people that have been voted into Parliament come and address the simple question about occupation of this country, they shouldn't be there. They should be in jail because they're ignorant thieves. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's not talk about a constitutional change where they want to look at three different areas in the Constitution to decide whether we were here first or not. We don't have to be fucking Einstein. <laughs> the thing is that we've got a clear, a really clear message. Don't get pulled up by the bullshit. And the bullshit is that we don't need no preamble of the Constitution. What we need is the law of this country to recognise our law sit down, come up with a treaty or an agreement or some constitutional changes that recognises that we were here first and that we have first rights to this country and that in order to share the country and to go into the future, they have to be addressed. And it's not with uniform people with guns on their hips. If we smack our kids, and we smack our kids, it is a crime. But we, as citizens of this country, exercise our rights to practice our law, we get threatened with guns. This is not Palestine. This is not war-torn Africa. This is downtown multicultural West End. Yeah. We don't need some insecure China that just got his first case of parliament with a majority government. You can see a lot of these police here that probably don't want to be here in the first place. They've got better things to do. They could be out chasing drug dealers. They could be out chasing criminals. They could actually be defending their family. Instead of some city gunner, some old man, and premier. But this is the Draconian it's pleasing to see everybody here to put them on notice. And you fellas in uniform, we know how to you start to be here, and you've got better things to do. We're not wasting your time, mate. Those people are giving you orders, dude. Stay strong. That's for the tank
Don't miss on the map. The generation is down. And I might be trying to struggle. The generation. We've been asserting our right as sovereign Aboriginal people. The generation. We've been demanding treaties. Demanding that our sovereignty be acknowledged, recognised, enshrined in our law. One time. Stand strongly. We're proud of all your love. All my toes, all my body. All my toes, all my body. All my toes, all my body. That's what takes on into our, uh, our boys and girls in blue there. How good do you see your people being here today? Are you proud of yourself? With your big weapons? Your pistols on your hip? Your tasteful weapons? Is this what you are probably all trained for? This one is so hard to pay. In order to terrorise, intimidate a peaceful protest site for our families and children. I really thought that the Queensland Police Service, the Packer Warriors under the logo on their sleeves, was only observed. Right now, this is not a very honourable action you have to see. Right now, you people, men and women of the 25th Police Service, have been used to respect a corrupt and wrong political agenda. Think about this as you're standing there. Think about this. Is this why you entered the Queensland Police Service? Is this why you wear that uniform? This one ended up in the morning and put on that uniform, strap on your gun, strap on your weapon. They'll come down to Musgrave Park and try to climb down a peaceful, positive process. This process is not causing any problems for any other member of the community. No one was being assaulted, there are no banks being robbed, there are no cars being stolen. Okay, okay. The people of Musgrave Park don't need this level of Queensland Police protection. Yes, I will. We're, we're running low on power, but we're going to have to speak to Caleb. 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 I'll just get you on the line, Alex. No, I'll push you on the speaker, Caleb. So, put on the relationship between Aboriginal people of Queensland and the Queensland Police Service. Think about the arrest rates of Aboriginal people. Think about the incarceration rates of Aboriginal people. You can hear that, Carla, eh? Think about the death in custody rate of Aboriginal people. Sure, in this day and age, what that police service should be trying to become a best police force. Sure, in this day and age, the what that police service should be studying the signing of the 1991 Royal Commission of Aboriginal Death in Custody. There are 339 recommendations. If I'm coming across there with a question there, how many Queensland police officers here would know about uh, yeah. that standard thing? I will. I cut. It's, it's, your time we better spend. It's better. Your time we better spend. How does your phone battery count? It's alright. Yeah, uh, it's down to me. Oh, that's me. Uh, okay. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. You need to come up right here in front of you, Robert. Yeah, I know you're smiling, you think it's a bit of a joke, that's cool, no drama. But, your time would definitely be better spent than being here. And when, and what happens to this point, just think about it. Just think about it. Because we've got a new government in place. We don't want to see the Queensland Police Service used again in the same way that Joe Bajumpy Peterson used the Queensland Police Service back in the days of Springbok, back in the days of the Commonwealth Games. You want your police service to be heavily politicised again. You want to be used as the Premier's hit for, as the Premier's hit squad. I thought, I hoped, the Queensland Police Service stood for something better than that. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. Remember, on your jacket, with honour we serve it. Do you have any honour? Thank you. Okay, Kaylee, we'll go for, go for it now.
Nugi woman up inside the embassy. And I've just got something that I wanted to um, dedicate to the police. So I think you can all hear me out there. Yep. You ready for this? Yep. Daniel York and Duma G and everybody before and between. The truth is far from what to see. Do you really expect me to believe there's no racism in these streets? When my people are getting beat down by prejudice in our town, getting locked up for making a sound or simply for just being around. Death and custody is what's really going down. Back at school, I was present in my history lessons, but never taught about my people who would face oppression. And never taught that with my graduation, I would see my cousins facing intimidation, causing retaliation, sick interrogation, then incarceration. If they survive the assault, I'll set the chase in. But things are changing. We're no longer the blacks who just sit back and get to react. We're gonna make it hurt through poetic attacks. Like TRK say, even though we still call Australia home, if you look in all this history closet, you'll find too many bodies. We just need another tax alone. Stereotyping us as drones. Not every black father drinks or sniffs some corn. So why don't you dogs just leave us alone? <laughs>
Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello, um, Sam's just been interviewed at the end here at the moment. Okay, Chris, no worries. See ya. Yeah. 
took the wood from Aboriginal farmers. Oh, so they made it really sort of happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
They turn my brothers and sisters. They turn. Leave our people alone! Leave our people alone! Just give us our land back! You talk about it! You say we are wrong! Leave us this party! Shame! 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 Stay strong. 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 We assert the right to damage of people to fight it on this side.